late winter and early spring, it's time to be fertilizing almost all of your fruit plants. The exception are strawberries. You do not want to apply any fertilizer, especially nitrogen, to strawberries in the spring. If you do, what you get is a lot of foliage growth, which forms a dense canopy over, over your fruits, which keeps it moist and humid down near the fruits, and it really gives you a lot more problems with fruit rot than you would have otherwise. So for strawberry plants, wait until after harvest at renovation time to put on any fertilizer. Don't apply any fertilizer in the spring. But for the other fruits, it is time to be fertilizing. Knowing when to put on fertilizer is actually the easy part. The hard part is figuring out how much to put on. Now your best bet is to take a soil sample. And we have a sheet that will allow you to interpret that soil sample so that you know how much fertilizer to put on for all of the different fruit crops and at different years of age of those fruit crops. We have our blueberries. They're coming into their third year. Now, they, if you look in the sheet, they should have about 30 pounds of actual nitrogen per acre. Now, there's a conversion factor in there to allow you to convert that rate down into a per plant basis. And that works out to be about a quarter pound of ammonium nitrate for each plant. So we've measured out, we have five blueberry plants, so we've measured out a quarter pound, one and a quarter pounds of ammonium nitrate. When you apply the fertilizer, you want it over the, the full root zone. You don't want to apply all of it just in one lump sum right at the base of the plant. As a matter of fact, you don't want to put very much right around that base or crown of the plant. Remember, fertilizer is a salt and it can burn young bark tissue. Now, I'm putting on just a little bit at a time to make sure I've got it spread out evenly. Now, ammonium nitrate is okay for for blueberries, it does tend to lower the acidity of the soil, which is just what blueberries like. Ammonium sulfate, if you can get it, is actually the preferred ammonium fertilizer, nitrogen fertilizer for blueberries, because all of the nitrogen is in the ammonium form, which is what's absorbed by the roots of blueberries. Okay. Now, with the blueberries, since they have this wood chip mulch on them, as this high carbon material, these wood chips, decompose, they will tie up some of the nitrogen that you put on. So if you only put on enough nitrogen for the plants, the plants actually won't get what they need because the wood chips will take all or most of it. So what we need to do is put on some nitrogen fertilizer just for the mulch. Now we first went over, went around, since these are small plants, put the blueberry fertilizer right around the plants. For this 25 foot row of blueberries in wood chips, we're gonna put on about a pound and a half of ammonium nitrate. And this will go from edge to edge and end to end to cover evenly all of the bark mulch. This fertilizer is actually for the mulch so that it can break down. By doing, putting on enough nitrogen for both the plants and the bark mulch, you know you'll get good growth from the blueberry plants. Now, you may be wondering, I've, I'm just putting on nitrogen fertilizer. We've done soil tests. We, our, our pH is fine. We also have very high potassium and phosphorus in our soil, so we don't need to either change the pH or add phosphorus or potassium. We're just adding nitrogen. That's the only thing that we need. That'll finish that. Now, next step, you have to water that fertilizer in. It does you no good on the surface. The plant can't get to it. So whenever you apply fertilizer, either to your small fruit crops 
your tree fruits, any of your ornamental plantings, make sure to water it in immediately to get it down into the soil so that the plant can start using it. Well, let's go take a look at our peaches. To tell how much fertilizer to put on your fruit trees, there's a fact sheet, fertilizing pecan and fruit trees. Now for a young tree, such as what we have, which is just entering its third growing season, there is a standard rate for these young trees for the first, second, and third year. A third year tree should be getting three pounds of 10-10-10 fertilizer. Now that will be spread underneath the drip line of the tree. Again, don't put any right up against the base of the tree, against the bark, or it may burn the tissue. And just, don't just put it in one pile because you could cause root injury. Now as these trees get older, you can go on the back of, the, of that same fact sheet. There are general rules of thumb which go by years of age of the different fruit trees to give you an idea of how much fertilizer generally is needed for good growth of those trees. Now one thing you may want to keep in mind if you have your trees growing in the lawn where in a lawn that you're fertilizing heavily they may be getting enough fertilizer just from the lawn fertilizer to get them through and get them to grow very well. In the general recommendations there's also a list of how much growth average growth a fruit tree should be making each year in order to get a good crop. So if your tree is growing that much already without you adding any extra fertilizer, you don't want to bother putting on any extra. You can just cause extra growth, which means more pruning, also means more shading of the fruit, so lower color. And on apples and pears, too much vigorous growth could either delay or limit its fruiting. So you don't want to put on too much. If you've taken a soil sample, and want to use that to figure out how much to put on your tree. Figure out the root system of the tree will come out several feet beyond the drip line of the tree. That's where the branches end. So add a couple three feet on either side of the tree. Imagine a square that size and figure out your square footage of the root system from that. That way you can convert that to the square feet that you need to use from your soil test to figure out how much you need to add for that tree. Now, if it sounds like what I'm trying to give you is imprecise, to a certain extent it is. Because you have varying, degree, varying rates of growth between trees, a tree that's not growing well at two years is going to be smaller than a tree that's growing has been growing very well at two years, and the smaller tree will need less fertilizer. These, anything that goes by diameter, or age of tree is only an approximation. Your best bet is to go with a soil test. More accurate is to get your area of root system, use that in conjunction with your soil test to come up with the amount of fertilizer that's needed. Also, go by the length of the growth that was made last year. That gives you a good indication of where you are in your fertilizer, whether you're putting on too much or too little.